गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास माई सेल्फ शर्मिता मजुमदार फ्रॉम सतीश चंद्र मेमोरियल स्कूल आई होप यू आर वेल एट होम एंड यू आर एनजयिंग आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज फन विथ नंबर्स फ्रॉम एन सी एर टी मैथ मैजिक बुक एंड आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज compare comparing large numbers before starting comparing large number let us learn about less than greater than and equal to symbol how to use these symbols and how to apply these symbols for easy understanding i will narrate one story of an alligator there is an alligator and that alligator always wants to eat large number of fishes for that reason it always opened its mouth towards large number we can use this signs for less than greater than so let us check how to use this symbol here see here are two numbers 12 and 4 as 12 is the bigger number so the opened face should be opened mouth should be towards 12 that's why 12 is greater than 4 we should place here greater than sign and next example c the opened portion should be faced the bigger number this is the only logic so we can put here less than as 15 is less than 19 next number is 2 and here is also 2 as 2 and 2 both are same numbers so we have to put here equal sign so now you can easily understand that what is greater than what is less than and what is equal sign means open faced always open towards the bigger number and this pointer face should be face towards smaller number and equal sign when we will put equal sign when the numbers are same that time we will put equal sign now let us come to our topic that is comparing large numbers best way to understand comparing large number is we have to compare the numbers according to their place value and how to compare the large numbers we know that first of all we need to check the left most place of that number let us take an example 728 and 396 these are three digit number so you know that this is ones place this is tens place and this is hundred place and here also ones tens and hundred so first of all we have to check the leftmost number that means hundred place numbers that is 7 and 3 among 7 and 3 7 is greater than 3 so we should put here greater than so 728 is greater than 396 as 7 is greater than 3 our next example is 729 and 756 first again we have to check it from 100 place see here is 7 in the 100 place and here is also 7 so we need to move to the next place value 
that is tenth place in tenth place here is 2 and here is 5 as 5 is greater than 2 so we have to put here means 2 is less than 5 so we have to put here less than 729 less than 756 let us come to the next one 28 and 759 see here it is clearly 759 is bigger number as 28 is a two digit number and 759 is a three digit number so we have to open face should be placed great in front of a bigger number see open face always face to the bigger number so 28 is less than 759 our next number is 512 and 512 so let us check the hundred place first see here in hundred place it is five and it is also five so both the digits are same so next we have to move to the next place that is tenth place that is one is equals to one it is also same so we have to move the next place that is one's place one's place is also same so the number is equal that means we have to put here equal sign in this way we can easily put the sig sign or compare the large numbers so i think you can understand in this way we can put the large numbers large number which is the large number we can understand easily and which is the smaller number that also we can understand so now i will going to discuss about the topic ascending order and descending order from the same chapter fun with numbers what is ascending order ascending order means smallest to biggest smallest to biggest when we arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest or largest then it is called ascending order see i have taken four pencils a b c and d and i have arranged them in ascending order according to their heights see i have choose first a why because a is the shortest one then b why because b is longer than a then c why because c is longer than b and d why because d is longer than c so in this way we can arrange the pencils in ascending order now i what is ascending order ascending order means ordering the numbers from smallest to largest that is called ascending order for example 249 356 then 367 then 498 so these numbers are in ascending order now what is descending order descending order is the opposite of ascending order descending order is the opposite of ascending order so ascend, descending order means biggest to smallest see i have arranged the same pencils in descending order so first i have choose the longest one that is pencil a then b then c and then d so in this way we can arrange this the numbers in descending order also so when we ordering the numbers from largest to smallest then it is called descending order see 400 for example 497 come 350 then 295 and 121 these numbers are arranged in descending order so you can easily understand that what is ascending order and what is descending order so this ascending order means the smallest to biggest and descending order means biggest to smallest now i will show you how to 
arrange the numbers in ascending order. So there are few rules. First, the first rule is, first of all you have to count the digit of the numbers. See, here four numbers are given. The first number's digit is 3. It is a 3 digit number. It is also a 3 digit number. It is also a 3 digit number and it is a 2 digit number. So as we are arranging the numbers in uh, ascending order, so first of all we have to choose the 2 digit number. 2 digit number is 28. Then, then the other numbers means 3 digit number. 497, then 589, then 498, 2. Then the next rule that is now we have to compare the 100 place num value, place value numbers. That means here in the 100 place it is 4, it is 5, it is 4. So what will come? The next step is 28, then 497, then 492, then 589. But yet it is not arranging in ascending order. Now, if we compare these two numbers, which is the greater one? So how we, how we get to know that which is the greater one? Then we have to compare from their tens place. As it is same, so we have to compare their ones place. 7 and 2 is here. So 2 is less than 7. So it will come here. So now we can write 28, then 492, then 497 and then 589. These numbers, now these numbers are arranging ascending order. So the answer will be Thus, the ascending order is 28, then 492, then 589. Must use this symbol. You know this. That is less than sign. So 28 is less than 492. Then 492 is less than 497. Then 497 is also less than 498. 89. 589. So we, we have arranged the numbers in ascending order. So now I will show you the process of ordering the numbers in descending order. Descending order, the same rule, first we have to count the digit. See, it's a two, three digit number. It's, it is also a three digit number. It is also a three digit number and it is a two digit number. So, descending order means largest to smallest. So, first we have to add in the three digit number, then two digit number. So, it is already in, uh, already in three to two. So, next we, are, we, we can proceed our next procedure. That is, how to compare the numbers. Three digit number. First, we have to check the hundred place. See, in the hundred place, first one is two, second one is three, and third one is one. So, what will come first? The largest one. Largest one means 397 will come first, then 289, then 122, and then 43. So, largest to smallest. So, now we have arranged the numbers in descending order. So, the descending order is 397. Then, what will be the sign? This sign, we will use the greater than sign. 289 and then 122 and then 443. In this way we can arrange the numbers in descending order. Very easy. I think you understand. So today up to this. Till then. Bye bye.